Hello, my name is Clayton Washington, president of the Kennard Alumni Association. We're here at the Kennard African American History Museum to celebrate black history through this video featuring seven local African American heroes right here in Queen Anne's County, Maryland. The stories and contributions of these trailblazers to Queen Anne's County history and culture will be told by local citizens, many from the local hero's own family line. These stories will tell of people who overcame great challenges in order to live lives and leave legacies that example great faith and dedication to family, friends, and community. Those that will be featured in this inaugural series, Ms. Lucretia Kennard Daniels, Queen Anne's County's first Supervisor of Colored Schools and its visionary. James Taylor, local slave and United States Colored Troop veteran. Captain Eldridge Meredith, renowned waterman and restaurateur. Francis Frank Fisher, entrepreneur and community activist. Warren Butler, head boat captain and school board member. James Jimmy Pauls, local businessman and real estate investor. And the best for last, Ms. Madeline Hollis, who was my teacher and was a pre and post integration math teacher and school board member. Some of you may know or have heard of these great local heroes, while others are being introduced to them for the first time, which is long overdue. Normally, our black history celebrations are held here at the Heritage Museum, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, we are offering this video series online. The proceeds from this event fund Kennard Scholarship Program. So please go to our website, kennardheritage.com, or Kennard African American Cultural Heritage Center Facebook to view these videos and to make a donation to our scholarship fund. Or you can mail directly to P.O. Box 213, Centerville, Maryland, 21617. We express our sincere gratitude to Shore United Bank, Queenstown Bank, Queen Anne's County Cigarette Restitution Fund Program, and Queen Anne's County TV for financial and technical assistance in the production of these videos. To our event committee, especially Niambi Davis, and to all those that provided biographical info about these great African American heroes. Thank you all. Enjoy the videos. My name is Lucretia Kennard Daniels. Before I came to the Eastern Shore of Maryland, I was an educator in Philadelphia. At the beginning of my career on the shore, I served as Caroline County's supervisor of colored schools. 12 years later, I accepted the same position in Queen Anne's County. At that time, the one-room schools that educated African-American children were not up to the standards of those of their white counterparts. Because I understood the value of education to our community, I was determined to make a change in the way our children were taught. I recruited teachers, developed curriculum, and made sure that every African-American school in the county had an active Parent Teachers Association. My efforts didn't stop there. The Centerville Colored Industrial School, the African-American equivalent of a secondary school, was far from the standards of the area's white high schools. So I was determined to make equal education opportunity for our children a reality. With money donated by members of the African-American community, we raised $2,600 to buy land for the county's first African-American high school. Finally, our hard work paid off and our vision became a reality. In 1936, Kennard High, the six-room school named in my honor, opened its doors to students and teachers. The new high school was a marvel to behold for the African-American community, which became a stepping stone for a new generation to advance to higher education. In 1947, Two additional classrooms were added to accommodate a growing Negro population. 
1951, to comply with the nation's separate but equal doctrine, a new and larger Kennard High School was built just across the street from its namesake. The old Kennard became Kennard Elementary School. And until 1966, Kennard High and Kennard Elementary served African-American students in Queen Anne's County. I may be most known for my work in the creation of Kennard High School, but another Maryland building connected to education bears my name. In 1959, the Lucretia Kennard Dormitory on the campus of Bowie State University was dedicated. In the ceremony, which included the unveiling of my portrait, I was recognized as a pioneer working as the first woman supervisor of Negro schools in the state of Maryland. I'm honored to be remembered among the educators, entrepreneurs, and community leaders who've contributed to the advancement of African American life in Queen Anne's County. It's my great honor to stand in for Ms. Kennard in this presentation of her great accomplishments, which represent African American perseverance and vision. My name is Dr. Andrea Kane, the first African American superintendent of schools in Queen Anne's County. Thank you. My name is Pastor Anthony Reed. I'm here to tell you about James Taylor, a United States Colored Troops veteran and Queen Anne's County citizen who was born enslaved in 1843. In 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed legislation allowing African American men to join the fight to save the Union. When he enlisted in March 1864, R.E. Feldman, who had held him in bondage, was paid $100 by the United States government. James was a private in Company K of the 39th United States Colored Troops under the command of Colonel S. M. Bowman. In his nearly two years of service, he participated in the Wilderness Campaign, the Battle of Petersburg, and the Bermuda Hundred in Virginia. He also took part in the capture of Fort Fisher in North Carolina. When the war ended, he remained with his regiment for a year for garrison duty at Fort Fisher. After returning to Centerville, he spent 15 years as the custodian at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. He took on other jobs and in 1910, with the help of his wife Mary, was able to own his house on South Commerce Street mortgage-free. To this day, many of his descendants still live near the house on the hill in Centerville. Some of them were present when the Queen Anne's County Commissioners issued a proclamation recognizing his service as manumitted to freedom upon entering the United States Colored Troops and returning to Queen Anne's County to become an outstanding citizen in his hometown. It has been my honor to stand in for James Taylor, a great local patriot that endured great hardship to live and to be an example of the great African American spirit. My name is John Jamerson, grandson of Eldridge Meredith, known to everyone in the community as Captain Meredith. My grandfather started crabbing and tonging around the age of 10, following in the footsteps of his father and grandfather before him. He had been a waterman for 80 years. In 1942, he enlisted in the Navy and served until 1944. When he returned home, he began working on the water again. He was one of the first black charter captains on Ken Island. In those days, segregation was a challenge. Sometimes on his boat, people wouldn't believe that he was the captain. Since then, he had customers who had been with him since 1950s. It's been said that he had his own built-in GPS for finding fish. As long as he was in the business, he'd use that to his knowledge to find the best fishing spots on the bay and to provide a great experience for his customers. He was a businessman off the water as well. He and his father built the Weeping Willow Inn in Graysonville as a restaurant and nightclub that held 600 people. Unfortunately, it was burned to the ground in 1974. He later opened Captain Meredith's Seafood Restaurant, also located in Graysonville. It has always been important for him to share his knowledge with others who wanted to become licensed captains. For that, he's been called the Dean of the Black Captains of the Chesapeake. At age 91, my granddad received another acknowledgement of his long-standing dedication to work on the water. He had became the fifth African-American to receive the award of the Admiral of the Chesapeake Bay. This award is given to those who have exhibited extraordinary commitment to the conservation and restoration of the Chesapeake Bay. 
I am honored to have my granddad, Captain Eldridge Meredith, featured among the educators, entrepreneurs, and community leaders who have contributed to the advancement of the African-American life in Queen Anne's County.